Hey everybody, Dan here from Mandolins and Beer, and this is uh, episode 7. Uh, and we're going to be featuring um, a beer by Lagunitas, which is out of California. But more importantly, we're going to be going over a Gypsy Jazz Lick um, by Stefan Grappelli. And um, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's a, it's a doozy of a lick. It's in B-flat, and it's actually um, it's pretty complex, so I'm going to break it down into two episodes. So this week's going to be the first four bars. And there's a little pickup line in there, too, so I guess technically five bars. Um, I've also I've got the tablature that you can download. Um, so you can go to the YouTube channel, and in the description below, there's a spot to go download this uh, tab. It's free. I also did that with the Bill Monroe Lick, and I'll try to go through and do the other ones as well, and so you'll have some tabs to go along with them. Um, and uh, please, subscribe to my channel. If you're watching this video, please just take one second, click under the subscribe button. Um, I'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, and... Um, uh, it'll help me get more stuff to do giveaways with, and um, and uh, I really enjoy doing it. I thank everybody for doing it so far. Uh, please go to the Facebook page and like it, and mandolinsandbeer.com is being built right now. And stickers are being shipped with the new logo, which is at uh, was at the very beginning of this video, so I'm really excited about those as well. So without further ado, the lick. This week's beer is Lagunitas Brown Sugar, S-H-U-G-G-A. Um, it is billed on their website, their little bottle cap. Uh, it is billed on their website as a strong American ale, and strong American ale it is, 9.9% .9 alcohol. Um, and you would never know, this tastes so good. Um, you could easily easily drink a few of these before you realized it was too late. Um, so fair warning. But they're fantastic. Uh, their description here on the bottle, which is great, is uh, we believe the special ale is something unique. Feeding brown cane sugar to otherwise cultured brewery yeast is akin to feeding raw shark to your gerbil. It is unlikely to ever occur in nature without human intervention. And it looks weird besides. But it has happened and now it's too late. Uh, this is is fantastic. They make a couple of really, really good beers. Um, but this one was recommended to me from the actual distributor who I got to meet and uh, got hooked up with this sweet little uh, mason jar type uh, Lagunitas thing. Glass, which is good, um, which I would definitely recommend. It smells really, really good as well. Um, it's fantastic. I recommend it. Lagunitas. You can go to lagunitas.com and read up more about their beer. But the brown sugar, again, fair warning. Um, one will probably do you and uh, will also make your cheeks red. <laughs> so, let's go to the breakdown. All right, the breakdown. First thing you're going to notice about this song, um, if you listen to the Django, Django version of this, is that it is super fast. Um, but what makes the part so great is that it's, um, it's got swing to it, even though Grappelli's playing really, really blazing speeds he's still got feel and bounce to his playing which makes his playing so remarkable as opposed to just playing a bunch of notes super fast he's got a feel to it even though he's playing very fast so what i would really emphasize if you uh, are working on this this particular lick is just play it slow and just kind of give it a bounce give it some swing and and i'll kind of show you a little bit of how to maybe do that in a minute as we go through the lick um, but anyway, the lick is four bars with a little bit of a pickup at the beginning here, which starts on the and of three. So if we were to start this off, we're going to start on the F, F and G, and uh, it will start on the and of three. So it'll be one, two, three. That's it. There you go. So that's the very first part, the little pickup line. And then we go into the, the first real bar of the lick. And... Um, it's just between your B flat octaves. It's all going to be right in here for these, for these next two bars. Um, you know, your B flat note on your A string and your high, or B flat note on your E string. So the first note is going to be B flat to G, and then you're going to do a little slide here. 
from D to C and end up on the B flat. And then you're going to go to G with your, with your ring finger and slide up to A. So um, that part is just We're going to start from the beginning. One, two, three. So that's the first part. The next part, still staying in your octave here, uh, it's going to start on the F note. So we're going to go F, D, B flat, D, C, B flat. And uh, in time, it's. So, all together. Now, here's where I think the swing part is the most important. The next notes, we're going to end on this B flat here, and then you're going to go down a major scale. It's just going to be going down the major scale of B flat. Um, but if you're not careful on this next part, and if you don't really swing it, it's just going to sound... Um, stagnant like you're like you're running a scale and have no life to it so the notes to this next bar are going to you're going to start your open a and then you're going to go to g f e flat d c b flat a this would be eight notes but it's just going to sound bland unless you put a little Swing into it. If you just play it straight. Let's put a little swing into it. So, here's where we're at so far. And then the next part is just going to be open, open low G note and high E G note. So all together now. One, two, three. So again, some bounce to it. Otherwise, you're just going to play it and it's going to be like... Just play notes about them. Give them feel and musicality. So that's it for part one. Next week, part two of this lick. And uh, it's just as fun as the first one. So have fun. Thanks for tuning in to Mandolin's Beer. Please subscribe below and go to the Facebook page and like it. Thanks a lot. Have a great week.